With no time to waste, it was time to leave Sun Valley and head north. This year, snow totals had been volatile. Record low snow in one area and record high totals just a few hours down the road. It's been feast or famine, and it's time to feast. New week, new location. We are heading to Bridger Bowl this week. So we left out of Sun Valley um, last night and stayed at a rest stop um, just down the road today. So I don't know, today's driving probably total like five hours, four or five hours, something like that. And then um, we'll probably, we probably won't make it all the way to Bridger Bowl to, today, but then we will make it hopefully tomorrow and then ski the day after. So uh, definitely one of the bigger challenges that we've had um, for winter van life is finding campsites that are actually open. We've, we've camped at this place before and it's absolutely amazing. It's right on the lake, it's absolutely gorgeous. So we figured we'd give it a shot. Um, got all the way up to it. The road coming into it is plowed. It looks like it's been plowed a couple of times this winter, but uh, we got not very far in before getting stuck. too far stuck I think uh, Nate's only really been working on it for probably five minutes or so so ourselves out of the snow last night we headed on down the road to West Yellowstone area um, we opted for just like a roadside uh, kind of like rest area kind of thing uh, rather than an RV park we we're just going to be grabbing a few hours of sleep and so we didn't want to spend the money on an RV park when we could just grab a few hours a uh, few hours and a rest stop uh, we woke up this morning and there wasn't a whole lot of new snow overnight it wasn't enough I had to broom off the roof or anything like that but uh, there's definitely lots of snow out. It's always a little disheartening whenever you get a few hours outside of an area that you're going to be skiing in and it looks like September. There's no snow on the ground, anything like that. We're about two hours or so outside of Bozeman right now, which is where Bridger Bowl is, and there's just feet and feet of snow blanketing the ground, just natural snow, um, so poofy, everything like that. It looks fantastic so we can't wait to see what the conditions are up closer to the mountain so we rolled into bozeman and uh, we were rolling through the home depot parking lot heard a squealing noise a little bit of a pop and then our alternator battery light came on on the dash uh, lost power steering. We, we were knowing that it was a belt that had broken, uh, so we got out and sure enough the belt had just eaten itself essentially. The tensioner pulley uh, had worked its way, I guess it just worn out totally. Um, so we pulled that off, we got a new pulley, so that's kind of what we're dealing with right now. I'm about to go put this back on. The other problem is it's eight degrees, the wind's blowing about 35 mile an hour, so we've got a wind chill of about negative 10. We're kind of facing a little bit of a time battle here because <laughs> it's just getting colder. It's, uh, it's about 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock in the morning right now, and this is the warmest it's gonna be for the next two days. Uh, tomorrow, the high is gonna be like negative three, negative four, uh, wind chill negative 
I don't know, negative 30, negative 50, depending on what, what the wind's doing. It's supposed to, the wind is supposed to blow anywhere from 30 to 40 mile an hour all day tomorrow. So let's go see if we can get this fixed. Adventure! So we spent the last few days fixing our problems that we had. Uh, you know, that first day we got it to where we could move around town a little bit and go get parts and everything like that. And then we had to order a new tensioner arm uh, so we could be back on the road with confidence this time around. So as far as we know, everything is fixed 100% again. Uh, so this morning we- uh, <laughs> Everything is fixed 100%. <laughs> yeah. On an 11 year old vehicle. Don't Maybe. get your hopes up. <laughs> So anyway, this morning we uh, we came on up to Bridger Bowl. Uh, it's about 30 minutes just outside of Bozeman. It's a little bit smaller resort than uh, than a lot of the other places that we visit. But we've just heard such good things about the snow here and the mountains here, and it's just uh, well, we kind of like to visit you know a little bit less known places whenever we have the opportunity. Uh, it's kind of why kind of why we opted for it over uh, Big Sky. So yeah. terrain's good, steep fall line skiing. So should be good. Uh, during our last few days, we did miss a, uh, a few days of high temperatures and the negative digits, um, which wasn't exactly a bad thing to miss that. That's really cold. We're not exactly set up to ski whenever it's negative. The highs are in the negatives and the wind chills in the negative 30s and 40s. Uh, you know, boots and gloves and all that kind of stuff, they really probably need to be <laughs> heated gloves, heated boots to, uh, to deal with that kind of weather. Uh, so we missed that. We missed a little bit of, uh, I think like a, like a half foot of snow one of the days, but the fact that it's still been cold out, uh, means that some of that powder is probably still hanging around and, Hopefully. um, but it's still cold out. It's uh it's one degree out right now. I think it's going to warm up to about 20 today, uh, this afternoon. So not as cold as it was still cold. Uh, so that's something we're going to be, uh, be, be dealing with, but should be a good time.
Bozeman was a bit of a whirlwind of a stop. The setbacks forced us to explore less than what we would have hoped for. But now it's time to move on. Next stop, Banff, Alberta. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to take you on more adventures. You want to travel with us in real life? Click this link up here. You want to subscribe to stay current on all of our van life and adventure travels? Click this link down here. And lastly, if you want to binge watch all of our videos, this link down here. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.